Oh, nice. I was muted the whole time. Um, <laughs> good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. I think uh, half the Discord is still sleeping yet, so um, not sure what's going on with that. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to take a stab here at this uh, NQ setup, guys. Um, pretty big stop loss, I would say. So I'm only doing one contract. This is, well, not big. It's not big stop loss. But yeah, 25.75 handles. I'm going to go below this three three candle sequence here for this fair value gap entry. Um, our entry would be below a uh, the equilibrium of this price leg. So we would have discount of this price leg here. We came up, respected this order block, and pushed higher. We have SMT divergence on the 15, which I, uh, I sent in the Discord as well. Um, and if this leaves without us, then we'll have to probably play ES. But ideally, I would rather play NQ due to the SMT divergence that we have. But yeah, quick uh, quick setup. I literally got back home. I, I dropped my, my dog off. Um, I'll be gone for the next three days. So as soon as I got back, opened the charts and... Saw SMT. I saw that we pushed a little bit deeper into that weekly uh, volume. Um, sorry, weekly fair value gap on ES, and we took out sell side, which is what created the SMT. So we took out this sell side low here on uh, ES, and then we got that crack in correlation here with NQ. Yeah, it's not. Um, you know, ideally, I, I prefer the entries to be obviously lower. Um, I would have liked to have marked up this entire price lag, but there's no displacement here, guys. There's no uh, fair value gaps that we can use. Um, this order block was respected nicely, so that's why I'm I'm going off of this price lag because it's the only it's the only place we're offered uh, an entry on, on NQ. Uh, if we work up really much higher than this, I'm probably going to change my entry. I'm probably going to move my entry up, and I'll, we'll move our stop loss actually below that fair value gap candle low. Uh, equivalent of five handles on NQ is, well... ICT says it's 20. I mean, in my opinion, in order, like for me to get one contract at a half percent risk on the top step account, for example, it would have to be 25 handles even. So I'm just a smidge over, 15 bucks over. But yeah, I'm thinking this will be our silver bullet, uh, which is actually perfect. I'm glad that it didn't trigger us right away. This can be our silver bullet. Um, we got two minutes, not even one minute till the start of the new hour. I don't see, we took out this, you know, little internal range sell, uh, buy side right here, but that's okay. I, I'm expecting, you know, we had the, the one that the SMT divergence on the uh, 15 minute. And to me, there's so much buy side for us to target, you know, even beyond this. I mean, you could really leave a runner to all of these levels, especially this one. I think this will be a pretty damn good level. I can see price uh, return to after sweeping all that sell side yesterday. Um, you know, the, the sell side objective that I had for the week was met. It was met yesterday, that weekly fair value gap. I deleted it to keep our chart clean this morning, but um, nice work, uh, nice push all the way down into consequent encroachment of this gap, and we're starting to bounce now. So that's why I have a bullish bias. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't want to see this, like, displaced to our entry. I don't want to see that. I'm gonna stick with the analysis because I, I'm like I said, I'm my bias is bullish, but I don't. That's not ideally what I want to see. I, I would like to see just a nice little casual capitulation down to our entry and then go. All right, guys. So here's my plan. Uh, I will move my entry up to the beginning of this fair value gap. I'm gonna move my stop loss to the um, l right below the low of that fair value gap candle, which might actually tighten it up. It will. It will tighten it up. Make it a little bit lighter risk. Um, We'll see what we get, guys. I mean, if we displace through our entry and, like, you know what I mean, we end up working down deeper into this range, I have to replay the setup again, but this is light risk. Um, like I said, I'm bullish. This is the only setup we're getting. We have the SMT in favor of NQ over ES, so I'd rather I'd rather trade NQ if we're going to get long. Um, if we end up having to trade ES, then that's what we got to do, but we'll see what we get here. Uh, we're in we're in silver bullet hour, so I'm I'm anticipating this is our silver bullet for today. I I have good news though. If this if this fails, I think it'll be over quick. I don't know if you guys consider that good news or not, but yeah, we've got a lot of confirmations. This is a great setup. The only thing I would would have made it a little bit better, like I said, is if we had an entry offered like kind of down in here. 
which it is on ES, but obviously SMT says we should trade NQ. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of buy side here. I really really like these for our next draw. I guess there is a 15 minute fair value gap a little bit lower. This is light risk, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it on. I'm gonna keep it on. Um, if we do get stopped out, I'm gonna play this. Okay, I do believe that this whole price leg is. Um, from current high to low. Uh, equilibrium is inside of this for value gap now. It's a little bit lower, obviously. <sighs> but that's good. It's a good, good sign. So this this fair value gap is valid. Maybe not if you're going off of this price like on the 15-minute time frame. You could make an argument for shifting your entry a little bit lower. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to we'll have to see what we get here. We we lost in the morning and then we won at the very end of the day. Alright, I'm in guys. I just market market executed on. Um, that was not a very deep entry into the fair value gap. I think we might come a little deeper yet, but. A little over a half percent of my half percent. If that makes sense. All right, yeah, stop loss hit. You bitch. New limit order set. But yeah, if this fails, um, it'll be a pretty quick day today, and I'll be done. And if it rips from here, I mean, I'm I'm really never gonna be a believer in putting your stop loss below the fair value gap candle ever again in my life. You won't you won't pay me enough money to believe in that. I don't care what ICT says. My my rule is you know especially if we lose right. I mean my my rule is two losses in a session and I hop off. I don't force anything. If I'm not seeing the market the way I need to see it, I don't I don't put any more risk on the table. So there we go, guys. I actually got triggered in. Bang. Fuck, well, snipe that on MT4. Let's, MT5. Let's go. Well, for now. Fair value gap, uh, candle low here. Ah, oh, man, that'll bite. I'm just waiting on MetaTrader to close it. All right, closed it. Damn, on to Wow. Yeah, guys, I don't know. That's pretty clear. This was pretty clear bias for me. Um, pretty clear setup. We hit the sell side objective for the week that I wanted and outlined on Sunday. Um, but yeah, that's that is unfortunate. The only the only regret I have is is that we took two losses instead of one. But first one was pretty low risk. And um, yeah, so that's the only regret I have. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Obviously, if this would have turned around here and went to the TP, I, would, you know, you could always you could always say what if. But worst thing you can do right now, guys, is try to force more buys right here. Like this might bounce again, like we saw here when the stop loss got hit. Look, bounced, and then we saw sorry, and then we saw this bounce here on the on the ES fair value gap. Um, you know, very easy spot for people to say, oh, fuck, and then they enter. And then they're a profit, and then they get stopped out. Or maybe they, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe they put their stop here, stopped out. They get, they see it going up, enter again, stopped out. Don't do that. I used to do this shit all the time, and I would just get eaten alive. Don't 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 do that. I lost I lost a little over, a little less than a half percent, or I'm sorry, a little less than one percent. I am down on the trade of eight account this week. I'm getting absolutely fucked. <laughs> on this account because I wasn't I wasn't partialing I wasn't able to partial on the the 3-0 run that we had at the beginning of the week I set it for for the actual external range liquidity and then we never got that we got TP1 offered and that was it so um, I'm basically sitting at break even for the week with all things considered as of right now on um, my actual MetaTrader account and I got a red week on top step first red week down about one one little less than 1.5% like 1.4, 1.3. Man, I think it's actually my biggest loss on the account so far in a day. My average winning day is, uh, I'll go pull it up actually. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I just, I feel bad because we're obviously wanting to take tomorrow off. But you can't feel bad. I mean, you can't, you can't force your will on the market.
All right, so here's my uh, little dashboard here. Um, this is where I was at at the start of the week, 102, 199. Uh, this was my weekly net on top step as of uh, yesterday. It hasn't updated for today yet. Um, so yeah, I'll be down like one and a half percent for the week. But yeah, look here. So like, okay, so this updated. That's funny. Last night when I checked it, this said average winning day was a thousand. It was like a thousand dollars and like ten cents. But anyway, you can see here that the average losing day is three oh eight. Average winning days that as of right now. So risk reward is there. Um, obviously, we're in profit on the account. Now we, I mean, we're still in profit on the account. It's just only a little over half percent now. Yeah, I mean, I like I said, I I don't regret the trades. My I I fucking ride by my bias today. Pretty, I don't know. To me, it was pretty clear. Um, on every time frame, personally, maybe not like long term, right? Maybe in the coming weeks, maybe with NFP tomorrow, we'll see. But like, maybe we do push lower yet and actually get further down, you know, further sell side. I think that's possible, but a lot of confirmations here, a lot of a lot of confluence in this area on, like I said, every time frame. Um, and then really that, that icing on the cake, in my opinion, was that 15 minute SMT to start this whole shit off today. All right, let this be, let, let's, let's observe this at least. Okay. Let's observe this. So we know based on the 42 minute mark of ICT 2022, 25 episode 25, uh, mentorship, um, you know, he says stop loss goes below fair value gap candle. Mm, it seems Seems that's not the case. Let's see. Did we we did that on the fifteen, I believe, right? Oh, oh, shit! Wow, I fucked up. I I have to own that. That's on me. We did a fifteen minute fair value gap entry. Stop should have been here. Wow, I'm sorry, guys. That's on me. What I did was we took this 15 minute gap, um, but what I did was, <clears throat> oh, what time frame was I looking at? I think it must have been the three, five minute maybe. I think our stop was right here, wasn't it? Oh, well, we'll find out. Stop was 362.50. Yeah, right here. Wow. Okay, then. My fault. My fault. Apologies, guys. So, I guess um, if I didn't have that little blunder there, that little brain fart, don't know why what I was thinking. Um, go, using a 15-minute gap and then making a stop loss off the five-minute. What I would have done differently if our stop was here, you know, right at the low, we'll just say, um, in order to fit my risk tolerance, let's see what I would have done. Create limit order. So this would have been, a, I, I probably would have been okay with this, 80 bucks over my half percent uh, tolerance, or I just lowered it just a slight bit. 25 handles is what would I was what I would need for exactly 500 and then uh, yeah we still would have had nice I mean pretty hefty drawdown regardless but yeah um, I just want to make sure I'm not giving you guys wrong information and wrong shit so yeah given the fact that we that we gave a 15 minute fair value gap here you know I don't think you're I don't think you should expect this kind of drawdown on a, you know good trades and a great setup but sometimes you have to weather the storm um and yeah your stop our stop should have been here so that's my fault but hey sometimes you see this shit afterward man that happened to me today i guess so hey i can't be mad at the market though i can only be mad at myself that's what that means do i see it coming lower from here wait do i see it coming from here till tp I, I wouldn't enter right now if that's what you're asking. If I were you and, and and I hadn't taken two losses today, 
an AM session. I would maybe look to target this gap to go long, stop below here, or <clears throat> at least below this, this candle. But this looks like if you scale down here, time frames, you got one little one minute gap down here. So you have to kind of be mindful of that. You know, if your stop is below here, let's just say, you know, if you can afford it, if you can afford it, maybe put it below. But anyway, we'll see. We'll see if the buy. I mean, like I said, I think the bias was was still correct today. So I would maybe expect to, to push up and um, as much as I would love to put another trade on and, and catch this move, I'm, I'm not going to do that. And then maybe let's go 15 minute chart. You know, once we <clears throat> once we take out buy side up here. I would like to potentially get short. What I want to do though is, again, you're, you're trading from PD array to PD array. We've, we've gone long yesterday and today, basically just due to the fact that we've swept a bunch of sell side. We've worked into bullish PD arrays on the daily, on the weekly, weekly uh, and daily for value gaps, order blocks, um, all in, all in, obviously a deep discount for the uh, current range we're in, right? So um, there's that, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't really want to get short anymore until we're back in premium. Which on this price leg here, that would look like this. I would like to see a delivery above this equilibrium, and then once we get bullish or bearish PD arrays to form we can fire away entries, but I'm not interested in shorts at all until here. <laughs> I know it's painful. Appreciate it, Alex. I will, I will do my best, but yeah, as always guys, if you need anything, reach out. Um, you know, I'm still going to be present. I'll be, I'll be on my phone. So, um, yeah, if you guys need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. Have an amazing Thursday. Have an amazing weekend. If I don't talk to you guys before then, and I will see you guys, if nothing else, on Zoom on Monday. We'll be ready for a brand new week, okay? Appreciate you guys, grateful for you guys. Hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.